Hey guys, Chauncey Phillips here, the brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Sean video today. Today gonna go out there, see, see what things came out today, see what things are on sale. Today though, new release wise, unlike last Tuesday, which there was like nothing out, that's like the new thing now is they're doing things with releases like one week movies come out, the other week in stores they don't. So it's kind of like every two weeks now. So I don't know if it's gonna stay like that. And I feel like too, like some places like Walmart and stuff will probably still get like some of the smaller titles in here and there on some of those off weeks. We'll see though what ends up happening. But today though, new release wise, there's actually quite a few things coming out and I don't remember for sure though exclusive wise if there's anything exclusive for these ones though I, there might have been for Wonka uh, I know the one though exclusive wise it looks like it doesn't come out for a, like a week or so but today though uh, Wonka releases and as well as Migration uh, the Nicolas Cage movie Dream Scenario and the other one a VHS 85 that's one that I feel like at Walmart though the one that I'm going to see in stores is probably the DVD of it because Best Buy now is, you know, is gone for selling movies they would be the place that I feel like in the past would have had the Blu-ray version of it. But when it comes to that movie, though, I kind of want to wait because there's a, a steelbook collection available that looks like it's going to be a Walmart exclusive. I think it comes out like in a week or so. And it's going to be like uh, three of the VHS ones together in this cool steelbook. So I'm going to probably try to find that one. Maybe it will be out today by mistake or something because I feel like if it came out today, the movie, they maybe just put on put it out on the, on, on the shelf already. We'll see, though. But it looks like it's sometime in the next week or two is when it's actually released in the Steelbook version. Uh, but also, though, at the end of this video is going to be a whole bunch of brand new uh, DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those as well, too. And also, too, guys, if you haven't had a chance to, too, definitely check out the link below for the new film I'm directing coming up, Skate to Hell, which is shooting in the Las Vegas area, April 2nd to the 16th. You guys can find out in the link below how you guys can get involved with a special thanks credit of pre-ordering a copy of the movie on DVD or Blu-ray. There's also ways to come out in person to act in the film as well, too. So definitely check out the link below for that as well. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And we'll see here. You guys know I always check this area in the front. The $1, $5, and, uh, you know, $1, $3, and $5 spot. So let's see seems kind of picked over in the spot right here now it's all the easter things here it's funny too like i've noticed how peeps now is like you know back in the day i remember as a kid it was always just you know just the peeps they had like one or two options now peeps has kind of taken over with so many different products especially this year it's i feel like it's been more than ever especially at walmart they have those huge stuffed animals they had some of them like last year kind of like that but i think they're even bigger this year these things are so funny these like fart jar jar things like as a kid too i was like obsessed with those things i kind of like looking back i now i know why <laughs> but <laughs> kind of interesting but anyway though we'll look over though here in the front let's see what are these i think i showed these last time these are like those books where they're like kids names but the thing is though there's very few options see like there's not that many so it's like you have to be really lucky to have like these few books have your name on it see it's like there aren't too many see there's like not a lot so i don't know how they picked the names that they chose for those ones but let's look over here too in the books as you guys know i always say this used to be where the the dvds and blu-rays were they had some of the new ones and i always look and see what was changed i think this is new, and for some reason they decided to put this one sideways. I don't think that was there last week. Other than that, that seems to be all the main stuff. And see, this is like I was saying, guys, these are, when it comes to peeps, back in the day when I was a kid, this was like, literally, this was it. There was like this flavor, and maybe one other one, and that was all. And you just saw a tiny little section of them. Now it's just like, peeps have taken over. But we'll go over to the uh, section, though, and see uh, what they have there, DVD and Blu-ray-wise. They should have some stuff over there, but we shall see, though. And take a look, guys. See, last Tuesday I showed you the, the squish box where they had the um, the Bigfoot ones. And as you can see, they're all gone. It's all this bird left. Like that, This is all the one that say everyone's left. It's always like that, like certain ones that are left behind. But when it comes to, though, uh, the new releases, though, in the DVD Blu-ray section, though, nope, they didn't change anything out. It was all the same stuff in the past couple of weeks, though. So I'm probably going to go to another Target, though. And hopefully that one, though, will have changed out the stuff, though. But in here, though, in the actual toy section, though, too, nothing doesn't look like anything new changed out i don't see anything new turtle wise in here there should be a couple i think i saw a couple new things that were coming out i believe photo wise but yeah right now though nothing else really too new in here though but we'll head over to another target though later and hopefully they'll have out the new stuff though but we shall see into walmart we go and fingers crossed hopefully they have out the new release of today because they didn't you know nothing was out next last week and we know today you know is definitely a week with lots of releases so we shall see though 
Let's take a look though and see the Easter area though. Anything new in here? See, there's some of those big peep things I was letting, I was telling you guys about. But let's see anything different that's coming here. Big Joe swim noodle. No one, no one wants Big Joe swim noodles now. Here's some of the um, more of the Easter squish ones in here too. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything new that from what I showed last week in here. Let's see. Anything else different? Oh, yeah, these things. These are pretty cool. These little uh, Ninja Turtle ones. They're like these Funko Pop ones in here, too. But, yeah, here's like, see how big these things are? They're so enormous. They're $35, but they're, like, pretty much like body pillows. But they're they're just so big, though. It's like, it's one of those things. It's like, after you have it, where are you going to put it away? Like, these size, these are manageable. Like I was saying, guys, see all this stuff this year? It's like peep-filled ropes. These kind of, like, cotton candy. This type of thing. Little like sprinkles, mil uh, milkshake kit, Play-Doh type thing, mystery egg, lip gloss stuff. See all these things, color twists. So it's like clothes. So it's more than ever this year. It's definitely peep centric, you know, at least this Easter. Uh, Easter. Let's take a look down here though in the section to see if there's anything different in here toy wise. Doesn't look like it. Pretty much been the same stuff like turtles. It's almost like been frozen in time. The same things. I haven't seen anything new and exciting change in here and I, I, I know at one point I saw some pictures for the, some of these turtle ones they were like those bigger ones like the ones that are like that shoot the pizza slices or something I don't think they have any more of them but at one point it looked like they were making some other ones like that but I don't know sometimes I see pictures of things online that people share and I'm like is this something from a long time ago or something that's only available in Canada let's see though that the Ghostbusters what's left here they have one one slimer, one, oh yeah, one of these slimers left. They, I think they originally had like six of them. These are really cool though. And then these are really cool too, these mystery ones here. And they have all these mystery slimers and stay puffs in here as well. Well, in here today though, it looks like they have everything out. I see the stand, you know, the banner for Wonka, and I see all the additions. I see the 4K Ultra HD, I see it for uh, $29.96, the Blu-ray for $24.96, the DVD for $19.96, and then Migration was the other one that came out today. The uh, Blu-ray is $24.96, the DVD is $19.96 for that one. I don't see though anything like any spots for that VHS one, because I think I, that Steelbook is actually, I think it's next week. I don't know though. I, I think this is another one that came out today too. This one called The Independent with Brian Cox and John Cena. I don't want to lie. I don't know anything about this one. This is kind of one of those ones that sort of came out of nowhere. If you guys have seen this one, though, let me know how this one was. I don't know if this was like a movie that went to theaters or like it was like a streaming type thing. Let's see, though. Oh, yeah. These are one thing, things that I saw, too, that are new that came out. These glow-in-the-dark art. I, I don't think I showed these last week. I might have, though. I can't remember. But they have all these different ones like Twister, Battlestar Galactical, Dune, uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, Fast and Furious, all these different ones here, Waterworld, Mad Max. But over here, though, in the section, though, I am seeing some new things in here, too. Let's see. So there's one here, Abigail Breslin movie here, called uh, Miranda's Victim. That's another one that came out today. And then I see Dream Scenario up there for 1996. I see Next Goal Wins for 1996, and then the uh, DVD for 1496. And something here called The Moon. And I do see, like I mentioned, the, the DVD of VHS 85. I thought I would see that, but I don't see anything Blu-ray related for it in here. And other than that, though, I think those are all the main new things in here today, though. Into the second target we go. And fingers crossed, we'll see if this one has out the um, movies you know, put out. So we shall see. We shall see. Yeah, so just like that, out of there, absolutely nothing changed out in there. You know, this is one of the locations that still has it kind of laid out the older way in the movies where it's kind of like the all around and the, you know, four corners of movies. You know, the ones now, most of the locations only have that one spot of them. But nope, absolutely nothing changed out whatsoever at this one. We maybe we'll get to one other one today. I don't know, though, but we shall see, though. Into the second Walmart we go. And guys, when I was talking about these other turtle ones, these are the ones I was mentioning that like that spit the pizzas. I thought I saw pictures of like other ones that were like in this kind of style that were like ninja ones or something like that. That were like something like that. I, I saw some pictures online, but I've never seen them anywhere else. They were like, I, I remember them as a kid, those ones, and they look like more of those reissue old ones, but not haven't seen them anywhere though. 
Yeah, taking a look in here though, I'm not seeing anything different. Like I see, you know, the Marvel's uh, Steelbook here. That's one of their Steelbook ones. I don't see though any like, you know, of the ones I was mentioning today. Let's see over here though, what they have in here. Yeah, see this location doesn't have out a lot of the other stuff. Like it didn't have the, um, the VHS-85. I don't know what this one is, the moon. If you guys have seen that one, the moon, let me know how that one was. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be out anything else different in here today though, as far as I can tell though. So anyway, though, guys, that was all for my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shop video today. Didn't get to go to another, you know, Target today. I feel like it probably would be the same thing. I go in that Target and it would be like nothing out. But I feel like by next Tuesday, hopefully all that stuff will be out. So then I'll at least have something to look for because next Tuesday will probably be one of those Tuesdays when there won't be any new releases. So then maybe on that Tuesday, I'll be able to show this stuff in Target. So we shall see. Uh, but also, too, I was seeing that, it, you know, when it comes to Walmart, they were supposed to have a Willy Wonka Steelbook. So I didn't even realize that but i didn't even see a spot for it in, in, in any of the ones in the two ones that i was was at they had nowhere in the section where it would have been the steelbook so i don't know if it's like a super limited one and only certain locations are going to be carrying the steelbook so that i don't know let me know in the comments below though if you guys were able to find uh the wonka steelbook today as well but anyway though guys uh like i always say if you guys enjoy these videos definitely give video a thumbs up now stay tuned for the brand new dvd blurry and 4k reviews and the first one I got here is from Lionsgate. This is a really cool brand new collection here. This is the 20th anniversary edition here of Saw in the 10 uh, disc collection here. So this is the 10 film collection here, which includes all of the you know films in the series, including the most recent newest film. And what's cool is too, it's in here where it has uh, art cards. So basically this is the main you know kind of image on the uh, case for the DVDs, but it has these um, DVDs and Blu-rays, but it has these art cards that you guys can switch out. So basically you can change it out to any these different images for the actual cover on here too so really cool on here as well so you can like i said you can switch these out for the ones i i love these movies though these are films too which i feel like over the years i've kind of liked them even more than i did when i first saw them because i remember when i first saw the saw films i remember really really loving the first probably three films but over the years i started to like them you know as a series a lot more all together and basically if you guys don't know the series it's about you know jigsaw the character of jigsaw who is you know you kind of throughout the series i don't want to ruin stuff if you guys have never really watched this series but you kind of find out about what's going on and you know people are put into these traps and they're tested and and basically, you know, they have to like cut their leg off to get out or they have all these exuberant things where if they don't do it the right way, they get killed, stuff like that. But really, really great series of movies. I've always loved these movies, but a really, really cool, like I said, collection here, which includes you know, all the films together here in this 20th anniversary collection here. And it includes the digital copies as well. I'm going to show you guys a little look at how the discs are in here as well. So here's a look at the discs in here as well. But if you guys are a fan of the Saw series, what a great collection here to have all these ones uh, together in here as well. The other one here uh, that is from uh, Lionsgate as well. And this is another cool edition uh, here too. And this is the Expendables 4 film collection. This is the blue has, includes the Blu-ray, the DVD, and digital copy. And that's the thing too with the uh, Saw collection here it includes the blu-rays and the dvds of the films too but this here is the expendables the four film collection here and this also has uh the art cards as well that you guys can change out so i'll show you guys how these ones change as well for this one i really like these movies i saw the you know most recent one in theaters as well too and really liked these are just fun crazy action films the the third movie i remember they went in that direction and made it pg-13 and then they like went back for the fourth one they're like nope we're not making the third and make it a pg-13 again but here's a look though at the um the case and everything for it and here's how the um the discs are in here as well like i mentioned it's the blu-rays and the dvds in here as well but really really cool addition here and here like i said here's the the art cards that you can tra change out and then what the way these work too is you can basically kind of pick whichever art card you like and have that be kind of the main cover. So if you want to have like the Jason Statham one be the main cover, you can uh, switch it out kind of like this uh, for this one. The other one here too from um, Lionsgate to let you guys know that it was available too. And this is also from the History Channel. And this is the um, Ancient Aliens uh, 20, uh, 21 disc set. And this is the complete seasons 11 uh, through 18 here of the series. So this is a show. I can't remember when this show first started. It's been going on for a long time. But it's always been saying it's for that one character that's like aliens. But it's basically all about kind of alien type things and weird sort of time of like alien type like structures and all these type of things with the Sphinx and Egypt and all these things, how they could have something to do with aliens 
aliens and stuff. It's a really interesting series here. Like I said, they've been it's been going on for a very long time now. But this is the um, the newest collection here with them all together. You guys can see the back too, which ones were listed on here. But it goes from season 11 all the way up to season 18 here uh, in this um, new edition here. The next one here is from uh, Warner Brothers. It's in our free copy. This one, let you guys know this one was available. I really like this movie. This is a really fun film, and this is basically the prequel to you know Willy Wonka. You know, this is you know a young Willy Wonka, kind of how he was starting and everything. And this is the movie Wonka. And basically, though, this is before he had, you know, his shop or any of his stuff. It was kind of how Willy Wonka was starting and trying to kind of, you know, start out and everything. And it's done, you know, done as a musical, too. I really like this movie. I thought this was really fun. You know, the director of the film also was behind the ba the Paddington movies, which I really like those movies as well. He has a really fun style, but this is just I I, I it, to me it's it feels like it's in that same universe as the original film. It has that same kind of vibe to it. Everything as well. I really liked it. I thought it was a really really fun movie. Uh, on here it has the unwrapping Wonka Paul King's vision. Uh, version, uh, you know, vision of the film, the whimsical musical Wonka, Welcome to Wonka Land, Hats Off to Wonka, Chocolate Bar as well, featurette on this one. And the other one here, this is one that I had seen in theaters as well, and this is from, um, a searchlight, uh, 20th Searchlight uh, Pictures. Um, and this is, um, Next Go Wins. This is Taki Wakiki's, uh, new film. And I know this one had some kind of mixed reviews and stuff like that, but I honestly, I love this movie. I, I always like these kind of movies too, when it's like underdog kind of sports movies. And I always like, you know, um, Ladybugs or like anytime it's like kind of these kind of movies, but when they're kind of underdogs or they're having like problems or trying to be the people you don't think is going to win and stuff like that. I always like that kind of stuff. And this was, um, you know, with, um, Michael Fassbender and basically something had happened and he was like this soccer coach and, you know, was he a, I think he was actually a player, but something had happened and he like, did something and he was kind of kicked off the team and wasn't able to do it anymore. And so he kind of got put in the American Samoa area to be a coach there. And it was where they had this, this team had never won or anything like that. So basically he goes to try and teach this team that has never had success, trying to make them be winners and trying to like, it's just like kind of really fun. I, I would highly recommend you guys check this out. Give this a chance. It's really, really fun. I don't know why there's was some like kind of mixed reviews on it because to me, I loved it. I thought it was a really, really fun movie. It was what I was hoping it would be just like sometimes you want to watch like these fun kind of movies like this and this one has on here the pitch of life explore what it took to create Taki Wakiki's loving homage to American Samoa and the short form documentary it also has a deleted scene on here uh, as well the next ones here these ones are all from moviezing.com I'll have a link below where you guys can order these ones for the best price now the first one here this is from um desk pop entertainment and this is one I was really looking forward to seeing because a lot of uh, friends of mine are acting in this movie uh and it's a movie here called Camp Pleasant Lake and this is basically though I think it was like, I don't remember how many years before, if it was like 20 years before, but basically it was about this kind of campground where, you know, something had, you know, this people had gotten killed there years before and a group of people kind of wanted to take the campground years later and use it as like for people that want to pay money to go there and kind of experience creepy things and kind of almost have reenactments of what had happened there in the past and like murders and stuff like that. So basically people are paying to go to this camp where it's kind of almost like a murder camp and like people are like acting like they're getting killed. So you don't know if people are getting killed for real, if it's like these actors and stuff like that. So basically that's kind of the concept of this is the people that are all going there to partake in this sort of, uh, sort of, um, camp where they, you know, people are getting killed for fake, for, 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 you know, pretend and stuff like that. But of course, people are actually getting killed there. And this one has in here, you know, uh, Kelly Lynn Ryder, who was in my movie, uh, Woods Witch, she was in the film, Michael Perez in the movie, uh, Mike Ferguson, uh, Robert Lissardo, uh, um, um, Lim Nicky is in, Jonathan Lim Nicky, uh, is in the movie as well. Like I said, this one is called uh, Camp Pleasant Lake. The next one here, this is one I really was, I'm so glad now it has a um, physical disc. This is from MoviesZing.com as well, and it's also from Film Hub. And this is a movie that I actually act in, and it's called He Knows. My name was on the back here, too, uh, for this one, too. But this is a fun movie. I had a good time doing this one. I, th I think it was in... Did I go to Ohio for this? I can't remember where it was. I, I remember where I did go. It was like the first time I had seen snow in a long time. I was real paranoid about slipping. I have like a terrible feel, fear of like slipping and like ice and any of that kind of stuff. So I remember it was real icy and stuff. It was the first time I had kind of been around that since I moved from Maryland in a long time. But basically this is a kind of a Christmas, you know, uh, slasher film about this elf 
it's kind of going around and killing people. And like my character was in here as like a, a police officer kind of investigating what was going on. I'm a real like real goofy, <laughs> really foolish police officer and stuff. But really fun movie. Really fun movie. I'm so, like I say, really glad that it's now available on DVD. The next one here, this is from MovieZing.com as well. This is also from Film Hub as well. It's a movie here called Morehouse Road. And this is basically, though about this couple who had recently just gotten married and you can tell they kind of like were leaving in a weird way kind of trying to get away and it was kind of like a sort of a quick decision too to get married and everything and basically though they go out to to sort of stay out in this weird hotel out in the middle of nowhere and go this strange way to get there but it's like when they get there like there's this the the house that they're supposed to be staying in is like not even a real guest house it's like this sort of weird shack and there's a really strange like the one woman's son is there and sort of weird things start to happen you realize that it's not a very good thing for them out there really cool movie though uh, the next ones here, these ones are from um, uh, Severin Films and a bunch of different ones to let you guys know that were available. The first one here was Dracula Prisoner, uh, Dracula Prisoner of Frankenstein here. And this was a... Um the Blu-ray release here, you know, of the film here. Like I said, this is Dracula and the um, uh, Prisoner of Frankenstein. Now, on this one, though, uh, feature-wise, this one has on here Prisoner of Frankenstein interview with Stephen Thrower, author of Murderous Passions, Delirious um, Cinema of Jess Franco, In the Land of Franco, Part 10, a Spanish opening credit sequence, deleted scenes from the English language version, as a, and a trailer on this one here uh, as well. The other one here, now this is on 4K Ultra HD. Now, this is a really fun movie. And I'm so glad this is on 4K. It's called burial ground and if you guys know i've talked about this one in the past and there's a really interesting like kid in here there's like not he wasn't really a kid but he like looked like a kid and he was very old like he had like an interesting look and like he was like the character that really stole the show in this movie but i'm so glad this crazy movie is on 4k so it's, it's like i said a really great movie and so it has on here the 4k version commentary track on here with uh, critics nathaniel thompson troy harworth and eugenia Acrola, a commentary with Italian cinema experts. And on the Blu-ray, it has um, some featurettes on the movie. It has a festival uh, Q&A on here, interviews for some of the actors, deleted and extended material as well on this one. Here's a look, though, inside at the discs for this one. And the last one here is one that I remember, like, seeing... I feel like I saw, like, the VHS cover for this or something in the past. And it's a movie here called Blood Moon. And this was an interesting movie. I had never seen this one before. And basically, it was, like, about a group of these people who were, like, students at this, like, girls at, like, this Catholic score, school, and basically, like, some kind of nun or something is killing them there. It's a really interesting kind of one. It's, you know, not, like, the most... It, it's a little slow in some parts, but it still was kind of interesting, though. I did like this one, though. It has on here film buff forecast interviews on here with actor Leon Lizick, uh, conducted by Paul Harris and Mark Hartley, and this is from 2020, and then... Yeah, some interviews on here with Christina Moore from Not Quite Hollywood, the trailer, and then the Fright Break trailer as well on this one. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing. I'll see you guys later. Bye.